So hello again from ABC Acres. I'm Grant Shadden. And today we're talking about what to do with all the poo. Now our Angus calf was kind enough to demonstrate that for us just a few seconds ago. And what we're, what we're doing here on the farm and in a permaculture design is we're making sure that we have no waste. So in permaculture we say that there is no waste, there's only resources that we haven't found a good use for yet. And we look to integrate waste from one form of livestock or, or animal system that we have here on the farm and use that to build soil, even to feed our uh, other livestock. And we're gonna take a look at how we've made these different connection points and how we've integrated our livestock so that one way stream becomes a resource for say our chickens. Today we're in a pasture that was bale grazed with our cattle. And just this morning, we released our chickens out into this pasture. And we're doing, even in, even in this time of year, we're doing this leader follower or successional type of grazing scheme. The grass isn't growing, but we're still able to integrate our livestock and make these meaningful connections to increase soil organic matter and fertility. And you can see our chickens right here are already doing the work for us of spreading out our manure. We don't have to bring in our harrow uh, on the back of our tractor and, and burn diesel. The chickens love scratching through cow pies. And they're getting some supplemental feed from this as well. And then we have the added benefit of them dispersing their own manure and getting just different spectrums of uh, nitrogen density and other minerals throughout the pasture. If we were to leave these cow pies on their own during this time of year, where we don't have growth and we don't have a lot of active soil life breaking, breaking them down, a lot of our, our nutrient content would be lost just through off-gassing. With the chickens scratching it and just spreading it out for us, we're getting really good uh, soil surface contact. And that will allow this manure to, to break down quicker and store and catch this, uh, this nutrient, this organic matter into the soil that's only going to benefit the pastures for the seasons to come. All right, so returning to the pasture where the chickens have been, uh, not quite for a week yet, and you can see a noticeable difference. We've got very little evidence of the uh, cow manure in their piles in this area and uh, you're gonna see why. Andy's uh, feeding the, the chickens right now and what, what we do is take the supplemental grain and spread that out on the, the cow pies and then the chickens will go after it and then they scratch and they peck and they distribute the manure for us. see the chickens right on the manure packs pecking and scratching and that's exactly what we want and that's why this part of the field is already starting to look so cleaned up I'm Grant I'm Andy and no we're not actually doing a living art piece on the bromantic version of American Gothic the famous painting by Grant Wood we're actually going to be cleaning out the goat barn and the pen and then taking it and distributing the nutrient, the manure, the urine, and then the, the straw bedding out into the pasture to boost soil fertility and organic matter content and production where we want it while keeping a nice clean environment for the goats that make this barn home. So let's get started. Hey Grant, when was the last time we cleaned out the goat barn? It was about six weeks ago. So we add layer by layer straw, and then we let the, the goats do their thing, their business, and then we'll keep adding clean straw, building the bedding up until we get to that point where it's just time. And we've reached that point, so we're gonna get to it. All right. All right. 
right, so we're gonna take a little bit of a break here from displaying what we're doing, cleaning out the goat barn, because we have our escape artist chicken here, Houdini, the buff Orpington. Houdini, what do you have to say for yourself? Huh? Is it the intrepid spirit of the chicken that you hold in your heart that makes you want to wander from the, the protected confines of the electric fence to explore, much like Lewis and Clark did in this area? Do you have any sense of fear over the farm cats like cargo, birds of prey that circle in the air, or the coyotes that live in the floodplain nearby that could end your life in the midst of your quest for uh, fulfillment, deeper meaning, and discovery? Any, any parting words that you'd like to share with us? before you get taken back to your flock, only to escape yet again. Riveting. I think we all feel a little wiser. Thanks, Houdini. And now back to your regularly scheduled goat barn cleaning. Okay, so now we're out in the pasture where we took all of our goat barn cleanings and dumped them. And now, as you can see, Andy is beginning to spread them out in a nice light layer through the pasture to take all that fertility, all this organic matter, and really start to improve these pasture areas that are just gonna help boost our production here. We're keeping our goat barn clean, and then we're taking all of the manure, all the urine, all the bedding that's been dirtied up and we're using it to our advantage out in the field. I'm going to go ahead and get, get started on helping him. Right now, Andy is taking a potential pollution and, and health issue in the building up manure of Porky and her litter of piglets in their barn stall and removing it. And we use that as a resource. We're not just throwing it away. That becomes a solution in soil building and even supplementary chicken feed for us out in the field. So taking this problem and turning it into a solution and using resources wisely is one of the things we really aim for here on the farm. And it's led to having healthy animals, happy animals, and ever improving soil conditions. All right, we are out here at the uh, mobile chicken tractor with our meat birds. And we have a bucket of pig manure and you can see some undigested grain in there. And so instead of letting that go to waste, Andy is going to dump that in to the chickens. And they will peck through, eat all that pre-digested, somewhat fermented grain. And there they go. And then they'll scratch apart that pile of pig manure in the process of eating out the grain. And They'll get all the grain out of that and all that will be left is the manure spread out in the pasture. So just another way to recycle one animal's waste into fertility and also in this case feed for other forms of livestock.